Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony. So I used to be a pawnbroker, and I think the only time I've mentioned that on this channel was in my very first intro video. And I doubt very many of you have seen that, and honestly I'm kind of grateful being my first video and all. So you don't have to go looking for it or anything. But I was actually a pawnbroker from 2009 to 2016. And for most of those years, I was a store manager. It was actually a corporate run pawn shop. Now I honestly do feel like pawn shops are a viable source for resellers. In my seven or eight years, I worked with tons of customers that were resellers that used pawn shops as their primary source of inventory or even primary source of capital. And they made way more money than I could ever dream of making with the thrift store. And because of this, I've always wanted to make some sort of a pawn shop video for the channel. But the video I really want to make would be sort of a how-to on how to make more money at a pawn shop. But I always tend to overthink myself. And for some reason, I'm just scared that people would find it skeevy or something. But if you think I'm overthinking that, just leave a comment down below and let me know. Because I would like to make that video. I think I could bring some good inside information that could help people out. But just because of the nature of pawn shops, I just don't want it to come across poorly. But I thought I would just make a quick video kind of telling you why I grew to hate pawn shops, why I left, and kind of explain exactly how pawn shops work and make money. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm not exactly sure what all I'm going to end up saying in this video, but I assume it's probably gonna be a little more raw than used to, a little more opinionated, a little more direct. And anything negative that I say about pawn shops, I'm aiming towards the corporate run giant pawn shop chains, the heartless, soulless giants that feed on people when they're at their lowest. I can't really speak about the little mom and pop shops that have been in families for generations that sponsor softball teams and are staples of the neighborhood. But having said all that, like I said, I was a pawnbroker from 2009 to 2016 and I'm not exactly proud to admit that I was pretty good at it. I was a reseller before that and that was kind of the reason I felt like pawn broking would be a good career move for me. So I worked my way up the chain pretty quickly, ended up as a store manager, like I said, for most of the years. For a long time, I thought that I'd be there for the long haul. But after a while, things definitely started getting to me. I was yelled at on a daily basis, cussed at, threatened, had to call the police more times than anyone should have to. I was robbed at gunpoint and then had to finish my shift. It just became this atmosphere of constant negativity that I just had a hard time handling. I mean, I brought my work home with me. I was stressed out all the time from not only the negative environment, but also corporate pressures. I had trouble sleeping at night. It was just, it just wasn't healthy. It wasn't an environment that I wanted to be in. I loved my coworkers and my employees, and a lot of those people are still my friends. But because of the nature of pawn shops, it's hard to be a happy person when you're subjected to that type of environment six days a week for eight to 10 hours a day. At the same time, it was super hard to leave because you can make a shockingly good salary as a corporate pawn shop manager. I'm sure a lot of people aren't aware of that. So I just continued to be depressed. I continued to be stressed out. I continued to let it affect me in ways that I'm sure were damaging to my mental health as well as my physical health. The change finally came when we found out that my wife was pregnant with our son, Elliot. That was when I knew for sure that I couldn't do it anymore. No matter how much money they would throw at me, I couldn't be a good role model, I couldn't be a good father, and quite frankly, I couldn't be a good husband absorbing that much negativity day in and day out. So I put in my notice and that was that. And naturally, I turned to reselling and the rest is kind of history. And I'm sure that's probably more than you ever wanted to know about me. But for some reason, I just wanted to talk about that and kind of give you a history of where I was right before I started taking reselling seriously. All right, let me climb down off my high horse now. So what is a pawn shop and how do they make money? A lot of people think that a pawn shop is just a place where you go and sell your stuff and they offer you too little and they sell it for a ton more. But how a pawn shop makes most of their money is through collateral loans. You bring something in of value, you tell them that you wanna borrow some money, they tell you how much they can loan you based on the value of your item. It's usually a small percentage of that. And then they charge you an exorbitant, 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 and then they charge you a crazy amount of interest on a monthly basis until you can either afford to pay the entire amount of the loan plus any accrued interest that's unpaid or until you can't afford to keep up with it anymore and they keep your item and sell it for a profit. To a pawn shop, a perfect transaction would be giving a loan on an item and the customer pays the interest indefinitely while the item stays in the pawn shop's control, sitting on a shelf 
untouched indefinitely. They make the bulk of their money through interest and that is how they prefer it because there's little to no cost involved in overhead or employees. The loan is given, the item is placed on a shelf and it's not touched again. So that money just keeps coming in. Now they do buy items also. You can sell your items to a pawn shop. Generally they're going to offer you very little based on the value of your item because they want to make as much profit as possible from that sale because that revenue stream requires more cost. You have to pay employees to clean the item. You have to pay employees to merchandise the item. You have to pay employees to sell the item. There's theft. There's the possibility of returns in some cases. So yes, when a pawn shop is purchasing an item from a customer, they're definitely going to want to get into it for as cheaply as possible. So the two main revenue streams from an average pawn shop are interest from loans and profit from sales. That's it. The interest rates vary from state to state, I believe. In my state, they're 23% per month. That's crazy. That's 276% per year. I can't tell you how many customers I had that had items on loan for years, and every month they would come in and pay a month's interest on it. Just that 23%, not counting the initial loan balance because they could not afford to pay that. So it's just a sad thing when you think about, for example, the person that hasn't been able to wear their wedding ring for five years because they've paid thousands of dollars in interest, but they can't afford on any given month to come up with the entire amount to redeem that ring. And rest assured, even after five years, once a couple payments start being missed, instructions start coming down from corporate, and that ring ends up in that jewelry case with a price tag on it. All right, guys, so I'll go ahead and cut it there. I could probably talk forever about this stuff, but it would get pretty boring if it's not already. I realize this was a little bit different of a video for me, but if you made it this far, I appreciate you checking it out. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up down below, and any comments or questions that you may have, go ahead and put them down there too. As always, please consider subscribing to the channel. If so, we can be best friends forever. But that is what I got for you today, so thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.